Budget Bunny here and today's video is actually going to be a collective haul. I have lots of fun goodies here for the fur family from stores including PetSmart, Pet Value, Walmart, Dollarama, and an independent store as well. So I'll start with the items I picked up from Dollarama. The first are these three adorable baby blankets. I was really, really excited to see some variety at our dollar store because they did start carrying fleeces in the last few months, but they were all solid colors. So when I saw these really soft baby blankets, I couldn't pass them up. They were $3 each and came in all different patterns and I love these for lap time, especially with the guinea pigs. They're just so soft and cozy, I can't imagine something not wanting to snuggle up in them. So the next thing I got at the dollar store was this heavy duty dog rope pull toy. It was only $2.50. and Rope toys have been kind of getting a bad rap lately because I think some people are leaving them on their pet unsupervised with them and their dog is unraveling them, chewing and ingesting all of the little threads and then that's creating blockages. Um, so what I would say, and this goes for any toy, you could find something wrong with any toy out there on the market, even rabbit toys that are rabbit safe. So. Um, I think you just have to be smart about it. With my dogs, what we do is any of the toys we purchase at the dollar store are all supervised because we expect them to wreck it. We only really buy toys now from the dollar store with the intention of them wrecking it because they just pull apart anything. Anything stuffed, if it's not hard rubber, it's going to be in pieces in a couple minutes. So we just buy them kind of for short term fun. As soon as my dogs stop, pulling or playing with it and start trying to eat it then the toy goes away so I absolutely love picking up toys for them at the dollar store for that reason because they just don't last long enough here for us to invest a lot of money in them. This one is also fun because they can each grab an end so you can really get a good game of tug of war going with it. So this next item I was ridiculously excited about. This is actually a large cat ball toy and I actually stumbled upon this in a small independently owned little pet boutique in the town where I stayed for a month with my parents and I was so excited about this because UK viewers always have um, the large balls like this so I was just ecstatic when I finally came across this one because I've actually been looking for them for years so unfortunately they only had one in stock at the shop and the owner tried to order me another one and it was supposed to come in the day that I left but unfortunately when we popped into the store her shipment hadn't arrived yet so I've only got the one but I can't wait to test it out with the bunnies. Alright so the next two items are Top Fin Small Aquarium Plants. They were purchased at PetSmart and they are to go with the new upgrade that our fish Miklo will be getting which we are very very excited about. Now Miklo is a beta and silk plants are recommended however I can never find silk plants that I like and it can be very very frustrating because I don't really like the look of them as much. So what you can do, you can use plastic plants but to make sure it's not gonna damage your fish's fins, you can run something like pantyhose over top of the sharp edges, and if the pantyhose don't rip or tear, then they should be safe to use with your fish. So these ones are actually very soft to the touch and very rubbery feeling, so they don't really have any pointed edges. So this clearly goes along with the aquarium plants. And it is a Spongebob pineapple house. My brother and I actually found this at Walmart and we were so excited about it. And it will match Miklo's orange coloring perfectly. And I just thought it was the cutest thing. I was addicted to Spongebob when I was a teenager. It was the most awesome cartoon ever. And yeah, I'm just really excited to put it in the tank. And also for Miklo's new housing, we picked up two bags of aquarium gravel. These are both dust-free, safe, and non-toxic. I got two kilograms of 
the more natural stone and then two kilograms of navy blue just to kind of mix in. They are by Marina and I picked both of them up at Walmart. So the next few items are actually for the newest addition to our household. You may have heard him chattering away in the background. I'm not sure how well that's going to pick up, but he has been pretty much non-stop while I've been filming this video. And these are the All Living Things Small Bird Cuddle Bones. They're perfect for songbirds, finches, canaries, parakeets, and other similar sized birds. And they are a great source of calcium and to also keep their beaks nice and trim. So the next thing we picked up was this Living World Beak Block, Nature's Mineral Block. Again, this is a great source of calcium and to keep your bird's beak nice and trim. And it also has a variety of other nutrients and vitamins supplemented in there as well, such as vitamin D3. We also picked up this Hagen Original Blend Cockatiel Seed. This one I like because it's only got a small amount of sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are still good because they are a good source of fat, but you don't want a lot of them because it can create things like fatty liver disease. So um, I really like this blend and also seeds should only be about 25% of your bird's diet. So the next thing that we picked up were a couple bags of the Living World Green Adult Guinea Pig Food and the Living World Green Adult Rabbit Food. What are you doing? Oh, you're a noisy monkey. Um, so I think we picked up three bags of each and again that's simply because we do not have a pet store close to us that sells these products. My rabbits and guinea pigs have been on these pelletive formulas since the fall. I do have um, reviews both on the blog and on YouTube of both of these products. We absolutely love them. We saw such positive changes in both of our guinea pigs and all four of our rabbits by switching to these blends. So if you live in Canada, I highly suggest checking these ones out. So I am so excited about the Tetra 5 gallon aquarium that I picked up for Miklo. I actually stumbled upon this at Walmart, again in the town that my parents live in. We were shopping there for food, I think, and um, they had a pretty good, oh my goodness, little monkey. If you haven't met the little squawker in the background, you can check him out at Ella the Paralette. We just posted a video on him earlier this week. Um, so, sorry about the noise. Um, anyways, we don't really have a pet selection at any of the Walmarts that are near me. When they converted over to the Superstore versions of Walmart, they really got rid of the pet section other than like cat and dog food and the odd treats and things. So this was actually on clearance for $15 at their Walmart and I have been looking for just a simple aquarium forever for Miklo because he's in one of those little beta tanks which is really really not nice to house any fish and it's not big enough and I'd wanted an upgrade for a long time um, and now that we've moved we have the space for a tank which was really exciting so I picked this up it does say that it comes with a filter a hood um, some water conditioner as kind of a starter a brochure on how to set up the aquarium and I will be doing an actual unboxing um, video as well as a setting up video once we get that ready. The next thing that we picked up at PetSmart was this guaranteed great choice satisfaction aspen wood shavings. Now I use aspen wood in both the rabbit's litter boxes and our hamster cage. I mix it with Carefresh just because Carefresh is a little expensive or the knockoff Carefresh I buy is still more expensive than this stuff. There is two cubic feet in each of these packs, which is 56.6 liters. We actually bought a third pack as well, but I'm almost finished it now. And it's all natural, kiln dried and biodegradable pet bedding. Ideal for guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, rats, mice, and other small pets. It also has um, 
it's been dust extracted I believe it's got min minimal dust in it and it's great for odor absorption. Aspen wood shavings are perfectly safe for your small pets. Cedar and pine, however, are two that you want to avoid. And this brings me to the last item in this haul. I do realize the bag's upside down, but that's because I opened it upside down and I've already used some of it. So if I put it right side up for you guys, then I'm gonna have Carefresh everywhere. So this is actually from Pet Value. So if you're in Canada, I highly recommend it. It's basically knockoff Carefresh and you buy it in this bale. These bales I think are $38.99 and there is so much care fresh in this. Basically, I can fill up my guinea pig cage three times with one bag of this and you guys have all seen my guinea pig cage. They're in like a two by five CNC cage so there is a lot of bedding in here. So it's much more economical than buying like the KT clean and cozy or actual care fresh. I think I paid $26.99 for the bag I mentioned a few videos ago. Didn't even fill up half of my guinea pig cage and I had to substitute it with the aspen shavings. So I highly recommend if you're in Canada and you're looking for a great care fresh option to check this out. All right guys, so that's everything that I've picked up in the last little while. I have to be really diligent and kind of stock up on items when we're starting to get low because the town that we moved to is quite small and it doesn't have much in the way of pet supplies. Our closest pet smarts now about 45 minutes away or so, so we, <laughs> we try to get as many things at once as we can so that we don't have to worry about running out of anything essential. Thanks for watching, bye! So this is what's going on outside of the shot right now.